welcome back and th this video just like I said that uh, we're gonna use the create a CDN the cloud front let's uh, get out of the screen and show you uh, how to get here as a fresher or please go back and uh, watch the cloud front introduction video so basically you click on services right here first after logging into your console uh, and it's under network and content delivery cloud front and it will present you this screen you will create click on create distribution and get started again RTMP is being um, retired so click on get started and here you will have to do some uh, input so for the uh, origin origin uh, origin domain name is going to be one of your s3 bucket it can be your uh, ec2 instant it can be your elect uh, load balancer uh, or anything that you want to uh, like deliver through the cdn net so for my purpose i'm gonna just use the s3 bucket that we created in uh, one of our previous video origin path so basically the path is uh, it's a folder inside your bucket so for example you have a larger bucket and it has multiple folders and in one of that folder there is something that you want to be uh, distributed by the CDN you can use that I'm gonna just leave it empty because I'm um, I'm uh, using the one of the JPG from the uh, bucket itself that is there are no folders in there so <clears throat> most of the other ones you can leave them just uh, defaults uh, they don't come into play until very advanced level AWS for example this origin shield is just uh, where exact where the actual file is being hosted you don't want uh, other people to know and restrict uh, restrict bucket access is that uh, uh, you don't want anybody to go and access the bucket that uh, the file is coming from and obviously um, it's uh, uh, we, we we made that bucket public so I can may uh, access uh, restrict uh, restrict the access from here even though that bucket is still public where uh, anybody who is following this link that I will be sharing for that JPG they will not be able to follow that link to get back to the bucket so like I said it it really depends on your need and you will not be um, using any of these until unless you are in a uh, higher level of uh, AWS programming and management so let's leave everything uh, default you can see this HTTP HTTP and HTTPS uh, you can make it just the uh, HTTPS only meaning that it will be a website where somebody has to actually log in first to access that file we are leaving it to either so <clears throat> these are policy we don't have to uh, worry about the, any of these stuff right now and SSL they do provide right now so all the way down different uh, settings you've seen so oh smooth streaming right there so what's smooth streaming So that will be uh, something like for reInvent. If you know what reInvent is, reInvent is Amazon's uh, annual AWS conference um, event. And uh, this year it was totally online, totally virtual. So for that, they would have uh, made this smooth streaming. Imagine like all of the world people are joining uh, to watch those videos or for for that matter any anything anything that uh, <clears throat> anyone that's being live broadcasted uh, for example Apple they, they unveil their products Microsoft they do the same um, <clears throat> so for that so let's go and create distribution now this takes a little while I'm gonna pause the video here and I, maybe it will be 20 minutes or more for uh, it to finish so I'm gonna actually wait for this to <clears throat> uh, to be um, okay status before we come back and see how we finally remove it once once we don't need it so but for creation of uh, 
uh, cloud uh, front this is it uh, the only other step is that uh, how you use that link uh, the HTTP link to distribute your file and how does it appear uh, so I'm gonna pause the video here I'll be back soon all right so I'm back at 8 31 uh, p.m. when I left it was like going round and round and I believe it took just five minutes now it's uh, 8 36 so four or five minutes it's uh, done status is deployed you can see the origin is set to be the bucket address that I have <coughs> And this is the domain name or basically this is the uh, file oh sorry that uh, um, domain name that we will combine with the file name it will be the uh, distribution link for that particular file <clears throat> so copy this and paste it in a new window and let's go to the um, my S3 S3 storage and let's find that bucket right there and access is fully um, we never made this public so for this let's go forward slash and enter and you see that uh, uh, it take maybe just a fraction of a second to load but if I press control F5 you can see that uh, it just refresh the page so imagine this field uh, this file being 1 GB so the first time you will see that uh, uh, progress bar going from one end to the other uh, but once it's uh, it's been done then it will be a add then this file will be uh distributed to other peoples or downloaded to their computers uh, from the uh, that edge server that's nearest to them all right so this is it for the cloud front creation let's go back and delete it because i really don't need it and i don't want to being charged for that so again recently visited i cheated and clicked there to to uh, delete it first you have to disable it and we are disabling this yes disable it's been disabled it's in progress again sta state is it disabled but it's uh, status it's going uh, round and round uh, so I'm gonna pause the video here once it's done I will show you how to delete from here all right so I'm back I believe the uh, status change time is about three minutes I left at 839 and 842 I came back and it's deployed now since this state is disabled you see that uh, this uh, delete button is no longer grayed out but uh, I have enable option again so I wanted to use it I can enable it but I just I just don't need it so I'm deleting it and you can see right away it's gone I have the green check mark and no data that's all for cloud front i'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one